we are installing Devin's Christmas present, which is his new taillights for his truck. And it is December 11th. Why are we installing my Christmas present? Because he found the box on the front porch and on the top it said exactly what it was. And I told him I wasn't going to wrap it. So he just has to, he just has to open it himself. So if you're ordering these, just know that uh, it says exactly what it is right there in the box. Yeah. Don't, don't make the mistake I made, so. <laughs> All right, so am I doing this or are you doing this? You gonna get your hands dirty? Yeah, that's right. why I'm out here. All right. Here they are. Um, these lights originally came in two different housings. There was a black housing and then a red housing. I know Devin's taste though, and I know that he likes the black housing. He said it multiple times. Um, so we're actually gonna go compare these to lights he already has on his truck so you guys can kind of see the difference. So here are the tail lights side by side. Uh, the F-150 originally came with either chrome or black housing for the taillights and the ones that he has in his truck are a black housing so we decided to stick with the black housing on the taillight. Um, my favorite part of the taillights right here is the LED strips. I feel like they're really unique and they're going to add a unique flair to his truck. Uh, when he goes on the freeway or on the streets, his truck already kind of gets looked at because it's a very unique truck but I feel like these are going to catch more attention because people like to see are, are able to tell what kind of car you have based off the tail lights. So these might attract attention to be like, oh, what kind of truck is that? So keeping it slick, keeping it unique, and keeping it mean is what I like to say. So the first step that we have to do is that there's two eight millimeter bolts right here along the side. Uh, we need to take those out and then this light is going to slide out. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Recently we changed the headlights on my BMW Z3 that I have and it, that took that was a process, so I was kind of expecting this to be a process, but it, I don't think it will be the same kind of process. I'm changing the headlights. There were a lot of pieces we had to pull out, including underneath the car, in under the hood, um, and we had a lot of connections to disconnect. Uh, not even talking about like spider webs and dealing with all of that as well. So it was just not as easy as this. So we just undid the eight millimeter um, bolts and immediately this started to wiggle, which scared me, but um, that really just comes out like this. And now you need to disconnect yep. this. And you can see behind that there's a bunch of different connections, um, different types of connections. So uh, because I just did headlights, I know the kind of connections these are. This one's a twist. All right, and we won't, re we won't be reusing those. You won't be reusing those? Not those ones, okay. just the middle one. Okay, so then I will pull those out in just a minute after I disconnect it. This is the only one I'm not quite sure about. There you go. Yeah, it was a twist. It was a twist? Yeah. So, this one you gotta twist it. And you can actually see in here. Look. Do you have it on camera? Yeah. You can twist it till it comes straight out. So you can look in there to see oh, if you're moving okay. it. I'm gonna go straight out. There's the old one. Since, since we're not reusing these, we can take these out. Take that one out. Take that one out. And we will be reusing this bulb, except I went to AutoZone and I picked up some LED bulbs, so we're going to go ahead and stick those in here for just the reverse light. These are the uh, LED bulbs that I picked up at AutoZone to replace the reverse bulb. There we, there we go. So these go straight into the circles yeah, where so, the old light bulbs were? Yep, since it's okay. LED bulbs in here, it's going to go straight into this connection point, like that. Got a click. The bottom one. Well, actually, I'm going to do the, uh, the LED bulb. It goes down here at the bottom now. There we go. And now twist. That one's in there. Now this last one. There we go. There we go. Yay. A little bit of manhandling. Just a little bit. I think that's it. Except for the bolts. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, this might be the point where I might need Devin's manhandling because I had to pull it out and I can't. So, <laughs> all right, we'll switch. Tail light. Yeah, just a little. Some manhandling. There you go. Some muscles. All right. Twist that out. There's the top one. Reverse light once again. I'm just going to look in here to see which way it needs to come out. That's the easiest way I found. See? Boom. Perfect. Straight out. This one down. That's the floor. And out. This one, you said the little LED goes down here. Yep. So the other one, we didn't show it, but uh, the pieces that we had originally twisted out to be able to pull out the bulbs, uh, you have to make sure that once you make the connection with the wires to these pieces, you put them back in the socket that they came out of. So if you like look here, I'll untwist it so you can see. So this is the connection that we made. Once it's completed, we go ahead and we put it back in, so twist it, it and seal it so it locks and that protects uh, the electric, electric pieces from water. So. Sure everything's lined up. Erica, wasn't that a pain in the butt? It was a pain in the butt. <laughs> so basically the holes here, the holes here, and the hole down here weren't lining up. We didn't have this issue on the other side, but for some reason, just this tail light. So basically what I ended up having to do was apply pressure to it from the outside, and Erica bolted them in, but it looks like they're in there now. As you can see, the tail lights have been installed. They look great. Here's a little before. And after, if you want to see more content like this and more updates about the truck, go ahead and hit subscribe.